Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and I got another Call of Duty video for you guys today. And today I want to talk a little bit about camos. I feel like camos in Call of Duty have changed a lot over the years, and I feel like they've been trending in a negative direction uh, over the past few games. And I think Infinite Warfare this year is really kind of just like the tipping point, which is kind of why I'm making this video. You know, back in the day, uh, I'm talking like Modern Warfare 2, um, Black Ops 1, even all the way up to like Black Ops 2, I'd say. Um, and like going all the way back to Call of Duty 4, with the exclusion of World at War, there was no camos back in World War 2, but digressing a little bit. I feel like the camos in those games were um, kind of a reward. Like it was something to grind towards, something to strive for. It was a, uh, you know, something to play the game and try to unlock. Uh, I remember back in, in Black Ops 1, I used to grind for the gold camo because you had to get to 14th prestige before you could buy it, which was really cool because it made you want to go through the prestiges. It was a great incentive. Back in, uh, even back in Modern Warfare 2, where you had to get headshots to get fall camo, that was really cool. And like the classic red tiger, blue tiger. You know, these were camos that not everybody had. Uh, these were things where if you saw somebody with a blue tiger or a red tiger back, like let's say like a red tiger M16 back in COD 4 or something like that, or maybe just some random gun, like a red tiger Uzi, or something cool like that you would know that that person like really grinded it out and had to play the game quite a bit and actually aim for headshots to get these camos and when I, I've just been playing a little bit of infinite warfare uh, multiplayer I've really not been playing this game very much I just got back into it a c couple days ago just playing some games by myself and um, I've just noticed that you know the camos in this game are so insignificant I feel like the reason why this is a thing is just because they're all in the supply drops now. I think the camos that you can actually unlock in the game, in fact, if I go to my creative class here, let's just go to the MB4, for example, it doesn't really matter. Um, if we go to multiplayer, these are the camos that you can get, okay? The gold camo, I guess that's kind of cool. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. I guess you can get diamond, black sky, and solar, which is cool. Like, if these were the only camos in the game, this would be perfect because you can grind towards these camos and unlock them and if someone was running around with black sky that's pretty sweet and to be honest with you guys i don't even know what black sky looks like i don't think i've ever even seen somebody with it i may have honestly i don't even know what it looks like but the point i'm trying to make is all these camos in the game yeah they're cool like you can grind towards them but why not just get camos from the supply drops you know what i mean like these camos in the drops are you know pretty much the same thing they're all pretty cool designs there's like freaking 123 of them like look at this list i have an american flag camo pretty patriotic but my point is, what is the point of grinding for all these camos when you can just get the ones in the supply drops and throw those on? That's what I don't understand. I feel like the supply drops are taking away from the, I guess, the goal to even unlock these camos in the first place. Like, what's the point of grinding out all these camos when you can just open a couple supply drops? Maybe you get an epic camo. Like, let's, let me give you guys another example. If I come down to the raw here, like, look at this. I have an epic camo on this raw, like it's an animated camo, I didn't have to grind for any headshots, I didn't have to do any challenges, I just got lucky and opened this in a supply drop, I didn't even buy any supply drops for this, I just got lucky. So my point is, you know, I feel like the supply drops take away from the allure of being able to unlock a cool camo, because I remember back in like, I don't know, Mono, or let's just say Black Ops 2, if I saw someone with diamond camo, like, I knew that they grinded for all that stuff, that's like, that's just cool to me, I don't know, and I feel like I don't even care if somebody has, like, a cool camo in this game, if I watch a kill cam and I get cooled, if I get killed by this thing, I'd be like, oh, I got it in a drop, if I saw somebody with black sky camo, which apparently is the, the camo that takes the longest to grind for, like, with the challenges and stuff, if I saw someone with black sky camo, I would just assume that it was an epic camo in the drops, like, I just don't know, really know the difference. And I feel like there's just so much content just shoved into this game that it just kind of takes all the other content and just makes it stale. Like, look at this. Scrapped camo. This is no good. This camo is lame. I have some other really dumb camos that I've gotten in the drops recently. Um, I actually posted a picture on Twitter of two camos I got, and they just look really dumb and stupid. Like, why do they spam all this stuff into the game? Um, just because they just want to make money on the supply drops. It all, it all comes back to the supply drops. It's just... It's killing the game. It really is, because I love COD, and I still think Infinite Warfare... I've been playing Infinite Warfare the last couple days, and just, like, the game in a vacuum, just, like, me running around gunning people, is pretty fun. Like, I don't really have a problem with the jetpacks or anything, but it's just, like, the content in the game, and just it just shows that developers just, like, are just lazy. They don't care. Like, there's so many, uh, you know, supply drop weapons. They added this whole new Mark II thing, where now the game is, like, completely pay to win. It just kind of upsets me. Um, how like little they care about actually developing a good game anymore. Treyarch last year did a great job of doing a balance between the uh, the supply drops and actually making a good game. I thought Black Ops 3 was a great game. 
and um, but that game also had the problem with the camos. You know what was the like Dark Matter was a cool camo, but there were camos in the drops that were like equally cool, like Transgression and Ice that honestly were like right up on the same level. I think it was still it was still cool when you saw someone with Dark Matter, but I just feel like it's even more emphasized this year, like how little like it matters to grind for camos. And not only the fact that the camos in this game are so drowned out by the supply drop camos, the camos in this game really just don't look that good anyway. Let me show you guys an example. Look at this. This right here, believe it or not, is the gold camo of this game. It literally just looks yellow. There's no shine to it. It just looks stale and bad. I can't believe that I'm in the year 2017 right now, and I'm looking at the gold camo of the 2016, 2017 Call of Duty game. And then when I go back and look at some of the older gold camos, it's just night and day. It's really, it's like backwards. Like the games have been working backwards in terms of the aesthetic value of these camos. It's actually sad. And now here is the gold camo on Black Ops 1. Guys, this game came out over six years ago, 2010. You would have thought, looking at these two camos side by side, that this game was the one that came out in 2016, and Infinite Warfare's gold, came out, gold camo came out in 2010. Like, this is unbelievable to me, how night and day this is. I mean, this camo looks beautiful, even to this day. It's shiny, it's glistening. Uh, this just proves to me that the developers of Infinite Warfare are just... They're lazy, because they could have made the camos look way better. All I'm saying, guys, is that Infinite Warfare, just in general, I think that's the main thing you take away from this video. Infinite Warfare, in general, has been kind of a train wreck this year. I'm not a pessimist and somebody who's going to just hate on COD for no reason, but this game, it's just got so many little problems with it, um, just both like casually and competitively, that just really make it just like this bad egg in the room. And I think next year, uh, next year's Call of Duty, is, first off, it's got to be boots in the ground. I personally don't care, but most people want it to be boots in the ground. It's going to have to happen, or this franchise is in serious trouble. Right now, it's on thin ice. Next year, if next year's game sucks, then it's just, boom, the ice is going to shatter, and we're falling in. <laughs> we're falling into the icy water. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. I just wanted to make another Call of Duty video here, and this was just a point I wanted to bring up. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy it guys and comment if you want to see some more COD videos uh, here coming up here soon. So thanks for watching everybody. It's been Dan Lags. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace out.